If you wear a chain or a necklace or a pendant, you may have noticed when you hold it there, after taking it off, it forms a beautiful symmetrical curve, whether it's wide or whether it's narrow. That's called a catenary curve. And it's a very special kind of curve because every link in the chain is pulling against the one next to it. Pulling, 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 stretching it tight. Also something else is happening. The force of gravity is pulling downwards on every link of the chain. So you get that beautiful symmetrical curve, the catenary curve. Now, if I could flip that upside down, it would be very stable indeed. It wouldn't, in fact, because with a chain, all the links are floppy. But if they were bricks, it would be stable. You can't do it, I can't do it, but with the magic of television, we can flip it upside down electronically. There it is. And once it settles down, it forms the same curve, but this time it's become an archway. And that sort of arch has been used in buildings and bridges for hundreds, even thousands of years. In America, there's a very famous monument called the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. And that is a catenary curve, a, a catenary arch pointing up in the air. You can actually go up the sides of that arch in little capsules and then look out through windows at the top and see the countryside around. It's a very stable structure because in a catenary arch, you see, every part of it, whether they're bricks or plates of me metal, everyone is pushing against the one next to it, as well as being pulled down by gravity. And you can make a catenary arch yourself, starting with a chain. Here's what you do. Get a piece of uh, styrofoam, polystyrene foam, or timber if you want to, and hang a chain down against it like that. There we are. Make it about the same height as width. Then lay the whole thing down flat. Then take a felt pen or a nylon tip marker and draw around just inside the chain. And by doing so, you will in fact be drawing a catenary curve, a catenary arch. And we are there. Then you can take the chain away. In fact, you can make a double arch if you want to. Then you simply cut it out using a safety knife of some sort. Or if you're using timber, you might need to use a saw. Once you've done that, slice it up into bricks. And then the big test comes. See if you can rebuild it and see if it's as stable as I said it was. Well, I've started by making a smaller one out of this piece and the bricks are jumbled up. Let's see if we can put the jigsaw back together again. I've numbered it to make it easier, that the pieces. There's number one and there's number two. They stay together all right. There are nine pieces in my jigsaw arch. There's nine and eight next to it. Now comes the difficult part. Three is there. Seven is here. I'll lean them against one another while I find the next two pieces. Four on the left and six on the right. There we are. And we have one more piece to go in, and that's number five. We'll spread them out a little bit and see if the whole thing will stay together. Almost there. This bit goes out just a little more. Get them in position, and it stays there. The middle piece is called the keystone, and that is a very safe, steady, sturdy arch. Try and make one yourself. i